Kinong Hikai College Hapo Kalama Jong Megalia College Teachers Association, Mantaka Arpo Pratarik Naila Araja Arpo Lai, Kiladawa Bo Vice Chancellor Kanehu U Professor Prabha Shankar Shukla, Udeban Wang Mardori Kajim Penbana Halor Kajim Pentrikam, Yaka National Education Policy 2020. Habakaran Shikilat Patai Kubor Ka President Ka MCTA Ka Kong B. Buam, Kal Ong Maka MCTA Ka Persha Ban Pentrikam Mika NEP, Henry Ka Persha Namar Bala Shupentrikam Sendat Klempat Don Kanu Kanu Kajim Penkre. Long bagging pen long MCTA, a non cooperation movement, Kadena Marba UVC, Ula Lemanti, but Snap Jar, Halor Kajing Dawa, and Wengno, Yaka notification. Habakali Hatok in Letna M. Ban Kio, Shaka Yinka Shari, Lada UVC, Umweng Yaka notification, Kakong Buam Kalong Bakajing Let Kio, Yingli Ying Sao, Kan Shimpo Daki Snem, but Hakataka Pork, he cannot pull him and Tao Snem, can sell in Krang. And I said, We are ready to go on to persist, to continue until this illogical, irrational, illegitimate order is withdrawn. So to carry on from there, thank you, sir. We are Madam Amanda. We are going to meet. We will talk about it. We will discuss. And after thread there, it's the same question. After thread there, we will have the collective decision and take a decision a stand on what next. Where do we move from here? So under the... Uh, the president will be able to All right. Uh, on that question, we will have to meet as a body. And we will not, it is, uh, we will not be able to disclose what would that be. We will have a collective decision, which will be after a threadbare discussion. So that is the reply to the question. And, you know, once we decide because we keep meeting from time to time looking at the situation so the same will also be happening yeah. all the dials to my left we have the general secretary dr airpiece w rani next to dr airpiece is Sir Lang San Swear, and then we have to the extreme left Dr. David Marunya. We have to my right, immediate right, Professor Shiv Pradhan, and to my extreme right, we have Madam Amanda Basil. That is what we have seen in one of the letter to the editor. There is the opportunity, the door is there. But then we understand that if we have to go to the court, you know, a legal matter will take years. It will take years. And by the time this batch of students, where will they be? So that will be if at any point in time. I'm using the if at any, it will be the last and very last resort will be guided by the following principles and principle number one implementation of the spirit and intent of the policy will be the most critical matter we are questioning that what is the intent of that hurriedness and as Sir, we need to emphasize and reiterate on why we have come before you and why we need to tell the general public. It is because of a, a serious offense that has been committed in that temple, the temple where they decide about the future of our children, the college, the undergraduate and the postgraduate. There it went wrong. So I keep asking this question. Are we unjustified? And on that note, Dr. David, please take this moment by moment. And we have our ears, you know, we were listening very uh, patiently. We are also observing every, you know, even the, the press items, the news that we gather from the university. Now, for that question, I think it is only the PC, and we leave it to the wisdom of the PC. To how, how will he remove 
and solve and resolve this you know, position. Why can't you approach the visit from the visitor? Yes, sir. Why can't you approach the visit from the visitor? You know, we would not like to lay everything before you, you know, before this uh, gathering here, but there are plans. There are plans. We are voting on that. Is that visit? At March. Now, first, we ask this question Where was the injustice committed? It was unjust. It is unjustified. Where was the justice committed? Number two, did we err? I said and I reiterate, we did not err. And if the matter has to continue, we are daring to go. Because the implementation of NEP, it was based on unsound, illogical, irrational, foundation. And what do we expect from that basis, from that foundation? This we want to make it clear. The, the university has not invited us, but then over a period of time we've seen voices. Voices that indicate that yes, the Meghalaya College Teachers Association, it stands for the truth, for the right, and for what is right. As a teacher myself, as a teacher, as a community of teachers who are all over spreading, this is what I have to say. We have our integrity, we have our justice. So we observe and uphold integrity and justice. So it is on that principle on these principles that we strongly oppose the unilateral decision overreach of the university and the vice chancellor. After the press conference, what happened? There were kind of statements being made that they do not recognize a community of teachers. That the academic council is not needed. It is the executive council which matters. I do not know. If we go, if we read it in between the lines, how do we read the statement and the situation? I have two things here to say. First, it is ignorance of the honorable VC about the statutes, about the rules, about the regulations, about the ordinance. And we are talking about the rule of law. So where is the rule of law here? And number two, it could be the pride, the arrogance, or a, an agenda that is hidden that we do not know. But if you take a reading, closely look at it, these are the two things that surface. But then, let, I, let me tell you, all of us, as an association, we agree. We said, we stated, and I remember Professor Schiff saying, if we have wronged, if we are wrong in our demand, tell us we are ready to apologize. But one thing is very clear, and I would like the esteemed members of the press to carry it through that MCTA is not against NEP 2020. I repeat, MCTA is not against NEP uh, 2020. Rather, the strong opposition, it is because of the hurriedness, of the high-handedness, of the overreach, of the abuse of power and authority by the vice Chancellor, and I will not go into detail about what is on that. This sets this panel an open discussion for the day. And good afternoon to one and all. After one month and four days.
And this happened when we met you, the fraternity of the press, on 21st of July, 2023. It's one month. What has developed in this one month? Over this last one month, we have quietly observed how much, you know, we, the facts of the matter, how it is being represented and how it is being misrepresented. And so we find that through this period of time, we as an association, we have been targeted. We have been targeted that it is unjustified. But then we kept quiet. Quiet observation, quiet reflection over the matter. We have been sullied and we have been portrayed as a group of teachers who are villains in the society. They look at us they tarnish our image. But are we moved? No. We are unmoved. Have we moved? In the very first week itself, when we made a declaration, an announcement, we would all have succumbed and bowed down to the pressure. But here we stand united as members of the association. We are being looked as and labeled as some as a group of people who are uncaring and unprofessional. We are violating the professional code of conduct, the code of ethics. But then again, let me drive home the point. We are standing firm on our professional ethics. We have a moral standing a moral standing that we have to deliver as nation builders. What do we want for the society in future? What do we want for the nation at large in future? Teachers are nation builders. We all are familiar and we have heard this often repeated phrase. So now the question comes, when we have been tarnished. We are not here to defend. We are not here to defend, to say that no, take away, you know, this kind of accusation, the kind of, you know, labeling that you have for us. We are here to show our resoluteness that we have a moral standing. This book, the document, the National Policy of Education, by the Ministry of Education. If you read it in 4.28, it says that students will be taught at a young age the importance of doing what is right. Are we not doing what is right? When we stand on the truth, are we wrong? Did we err as people, majority of the people think that we err? But then, this is, a, but this is a time we are here to set the narrative right. And that is to dispel the fears and apprehensions of the parents, of the students, 